Well, good morning and welcome back to the channel. Today we're in the pretty village of Colne Rogers near Bybury, in the heart of the Cotswolds. This idyllic Gloucestershire village takes its name from the River Colne, which flows through the Cotswolds and eventually feeds into the mighty Thames. The Rogers part comes from the knight Roger de Gloucester, who gave the village to the monks of Gloucester before dying in 1106. It remained in the hands of the abbey until the dissolution in 1541, but it passed into the possession of the dean and chapter of the cathedral. Colne Rogers is full of picture postcard colleges and beautiful houses, and has a lovely Saxon church of St Andrews. So come with me, let's explore this Cotswold hidden gem. So it's a lovely little village. It's a hamlet, really. It's just one street, maybe two at the most. But look at the lovely cottages here and the gardens are in full bloom. It's classic Cotswolds. And as we come up to this junction and turn right, we'll be heading towards the church, which is a fine example of Saxon architecture in all its glory. Now, when we get to the church, we'll find inside the porch a plaque that informs all the visitors of Colne Rogers' status as a thankful village. A thankful village is one of the 49 villages in Britain that were spared fatalities during the Great War of 1914 to 1918. So in essence, everybody that went and fought in the war thankfully came back alive to relive their live their lives in this beautiful village so it's called a thankful village So this is the little path that goes to the church of St Andrews. And on the right here are beautiful fields and the river is just flowing in the distance there. Um, we'll see the river at the end of the video. But yeah, it's set in fantastic countryside and yeah, it's such a picturesque, beautiful village. It's rare to find a Saxon church with an unaltered layout. But that's what we have in Cole Rogers. The Church of St Andrew dates to the mid 11th century and exhibits every element of traditional Saxon architecture. Let's go inside and explore this beautiful church together.
Now, just by the churchyard, if you look across, there's this wonderful open landscape garden. It obviously belongs to one of the big houses in the village that we probably walk past, but it's a bit naughty. I'm filming it, you know, from over the wall, but I just thought this is such a pretty and beautiful garden. I just wanted it to um, show it to you, really. And uh, yeah, isn't it absolutely magnificent? So that's it really, that's the village of Colm Martin. Um, I hope you've enjoyed that little walk around, this unspoiled, quiet, serene Cotswold village. And um, if you have enjoyed it, please like, share, and if you're not a subscriber already, please subscribe, it's free, and it really does help the channel. It's a fantastic place to come, you can go to a number of other villages uh, in the Colm Valley. I've made some other videos, Ablington, and I'll be making more coming up. So um, in a day you can get and see quite a few of these pretty little villages. This one's an absolute delight. Um, if you want to know where the river is, uh, the bridge is just coming up and I'll show you the little river. It's more like a, a stream or brook but I'm assuming it is the actual uh, River Colm. Um, thanks again for watching. I'll be back for another video very soon. And uh, bye for now. Bye-bye.